Oh my God, this is running in translation. This is an Intel app. This system only has eight gigabytes of RAM. I'm screen recording at the same time. 4K, color grading. Can you believe it's playing it back at full? Wolf, these things are amazing. But today we're gonna to find out how non-native, so Intel apps, how they run in these M1 MacBook Pros, or MacBook Air, doesn't matter, or Mac Mini, whichever. So today we're gonna to be testing stuff from Adobe, Microsoft Office, and we're gonna test an audio door as well. Now I've already done a gaming review. Go check out my gaming video if you like. The games, if they run on metal, they're gonna run well. And as I said, I'm using the Mac microphones and I'm actually recording this at the moment. So it's actually a testament to how good this actually runs while I'm recording and running these apps as well. So there is three types of apps. So if I go here to Photoshop, this is made for Apple Silicon, all right? This is a beta, and if I click on that and go to Get Info, it'll say Application Apple Silicon, okay? So can you see that? I just highlighted it. It says Application Apple Silicon. So that is made for this Mac, so for Apple Silicon Mac. That is the best case scenario. There won't be many of those for a long time. But then there's other apps like this. So if I click on this and go Get Info, you can see there it says universal. So this is made for Intel and Apple Silicon. Now this will run just like native. The only downside to this is more hard drive space because it has to carry that Intel code as well. Then we have these, what we're gonna to test today, which is something that is made for Intel. All right, so this Excel here, I look at the application, it says for Intel. So this will be running in translation, not emulation. There's a difference between translation Basically with translation compared to emulation, emulation it will try and execute the Intel code and then run it in emulation. Whereas what Apple do, which is very smart, they actually translate the code into native. And that's where the overhead is, it's in the translation. Of course this will work the system harder, so all those claims of you know long battery life, if you're running like Intel apps, the battery life won't be as good. Now I will warn you, it's not gonna be a rose garden every Intel app. A lot of them do run well. Some of the games run really well, but DaVinci Resolve 17, not 17.1, which is universal, but 17 wouldn't run at all. Steam, I wanted to throw the computer across the wall with Steam because it was so slow, but let's open up an audio door and see how we go here. Now, I would not be using this for mission critical content creation production and that, and that's one thing here. You can see how much longer it takes to load just because it's not native. Native loads straight away. All right, so this is just a trial version. I did have a bit of a beach ball with this and I was playing with it before, but basically now I can say I have universal audio stuff. My audio interface doesn't work, the plugins don't work, and this is gonna be the same with this, with VSTs, plugins and stuff like that, because you have a load of those and one of them won't work and just, I would not be relying on this mission critical, but just working in the door, it seems fine. It seems smooth. Seems like it's real time there. Sorry, I don't know much about doors, but um, you can work with it, but I wouldn't trust it if you have a lot of plugins. Now let's get into PowerPoint. Just have whatever. Let's go to this presentation here. I didn't actually save this, but yeah, this is smooth. It is fast. I mean, I just grab things here, lower that, and I'll just add all these things here, and they seem to add very fast. You know, I can drag things around, it's super smooth. I can draw on stuff, no problems there. I don't see any problem with the Office stuff and I've done the same thing with Word too. I messed about with Word and I just oh, chuck an image there, chuck another one. It just, just doesn't matter, it's just super fast, super smooth. So, and this is, you know, this is graphical stuff as well. So, you know, Office stuff is gonna run fine just show you the same stuff in Word as well. And as you'll see, it takes a while to, you know, start. But if I just have a look here, start with blank document, just drag in files. It's just super smooth. I can drag these files around. It's just, you wouldn't even know that that's not native. It's so good. It's really good. It's just performed so well. Just the office suite, you're gonna have no issues whatsoever. It's just amazing. It's actually quite amazing how fast it is, how fluid it is. You wouldn't even know that it's not native. So this is Lightroom. And again, this is just butter smooth as well. In and out, just go into the next one. In and out, boom, out. Next one, boom, 
It's just super smooth. If I just flip through these, you would not even know this is not native. This is Intel. It's just amazing that, yeah, it's so fast and fluid. And let's add a brush. All right, so I'll paint here and I'll make it, the clarity one seems to be very harsh. So we'll make it super clear. So just drawing on that. And then we'll add what, some shadows there, some blacks. You can see there, it's instant. Those adjustments are instant. Let's go on there, blacks, instant there. Clarity, instant. Look, it's so fast, so smooth. And this is not native. Now, one thing it's not optimized is for export. So when I exported photos from here, it took like two minutes for 75 raw files. Now I compared that to an Intel system, PC, or even an AMD 4800U. They were like, you know, 40 seconds faster than this because it's not optimized for metal yet, the exporting part of it. But actually using Lightroom, it's no issue whatsoever. Now I will say that this is eight gigs of RAM too, right? This is not 16 gigs and I am screen recording. So this is just nuts, the actual performance of this. So let's do Premiere Pro. And again, if you're a pro and mission critical, I would not be relying on Intel apps to run. You know, it's just, no, just don't do it. There's gonna be issues. But this is a famous project that I use to render all these things. Now I will say the render part of it, because it uses metal, the render part, wow. It was like twice as fast as the 1165G and also the 4800U from AMD. So if you have a look here, remember, I'm screen recording. Remember, 8 gigs of RAM and this is not native. You can see there it did lag a bit. All right, so look at that. Now that's with color grading. Let me turn the color grading off. All right, so we'll just get in here a bit closer. Look at that. That's with the color grading off 4K content. And I'm screen recording only eight gigs of RAM. All right, let's see if it can play it back. Look for the green dot. It plays back 4K content in emulation, only eight gigs RAM while I'm screen recording. Wolf, yes. And this is Intel, this is not native. All right, let's add the color grading. Now, normally an ultra book would no way play it back with color grading and this will be the same you'll see that it'll start dropping frames what the what this can't be real what the so now we color grading this is not native this is an intel app and we're playing back at full 4k while I'm screen recording with only eight gigs of RAM, this is just nuts performance. Wow, cannot believe it. It's still playing back green now. I've got to check that again. Is that for real? Oh my God, this is running in translation. This is an Intel app. This system only has eight gigabytes of RAM. I'm screen recording at the same time. 4K, color grading. Can you believe it's playing it back at full? Wolf, these things are amazing. So I'm actually amazed by the performance. I will say with the color grading, the scrubbing's not quite as good without the color grading. But remember, it's only eight gigs of RAM and I'm recording and it's an Intel app. So... You're gonna have no issues with most stuff, but remember, it's not gonna be a rose garden the whole time. You will have issues like I had with Steam, like I had with DaVinci, but you know, the Adobe products, I played with Photoshop, Lightroom, no problem whatsoever. Office stuff, no problem. All the main stuff will work. And games, you check out my gaming review, as long as it's got metal, it works. And this thing here rendered faster then equivalent PCs that were run in Premiere Native. And it runs it better too. Like, to actually play this back at full is just nuts. There you go, I did drop it there. I thought that was too good to be true, but um, remember, 8 gigs RAM and I'm screen recording as well. It's Intel app. It's just nuts, this performance. So I'll wrap it up there. Most of the time you won't have any issues, but um, sometimes you will. Just check what you're doing. Probably wait to native if you are mission critical, but I'll catch you in the next one, guys.